Question for Coach. Coach, just talk about how physical the game was. Yeah, it was, it, it was, uh, it was a very physical game. Um, you know, I was much happier with her uh, with her effort on the boards, and I thought we got in there did a really good job uh, helping the three in the first half. Uh, we got eight total. Um, you know, we go out and get 11, and I, you know, I thought we battled, and you know, we talked a lot about that the last couple of days about you know trying to find a way to get extra possessions ourselves. You know, similar to what Northern Iowa did. Uh, the other the other night against us, and you know we, we battled them. That's that's a good team. That's a very well coached team, and, and uh, you know they really they really get after it. And you know they they played well. They came in here. Uh, they had a, I think a disappointing week down at uh, Old Spice at the uh, Orlando tournament, and you know, I think they learned a lot about themselves. You know we we had the game plan. You know what what they were going to do, and I thought we got stuck on some picks early and allowed them to uh, you know to get some open threes. Uh, that we did a much better job, um, you know, after those uh, those first seven eight minutes, as far as getting into them. <clears throat> and the second half, I, I, I just it's, it's beyond me how you can't come out there with that, like Jake talked about that killer instinct, <clears throat> the entire game. You know, you got to go out there and, and control it. The first five minutes of that second half, you know, we had a lead. We did a great job getting back in the game and taking a lead at halftime. You know, we just didn't come out with any urgency at the uh, at the beginning of the second half. No, that was a disappointing thing to me. And then we, you know, I thought we finished off, really did a good job executing some new stuff that we put in uh, that we put in, and uh, you know, just couldn't make plays on the stretch to win. Is that what you learned from these two games? That you need to find that you know the full forty minutes have that killer instinct there the entire way. Yeah, you do. I mean, every, every night. I, you know, I thought we had effort in uh, at Northern Iowa the other night. We just, you know, just didn't have the toughness. I, I didn't think. You know, I thought we, we competed better as far as that, as far as toughness. We just you know, that lull we had to open up the second half. You know, Randy, like you said, we you know were empty a lot of those possessions and just you know careless thing, careless turnovers, which I think was the difference in the game tonight. You know, we forced a lot in them, but you know just had some careless turnovers that uh, you know you got to find a way to at least get a shot up on the board and give yourself a chance. Talk about about Rayleigh, what he what he did do for you there. Yeah, you know I'm really proud of the way Jordan's played the last uh, the last two games. Um, he was great minutes the other night at Northern Iowa. Uh, you know then Jamie gets the two quick fouls tonight or sorry this afternoon, and he came in and gave us really good minutes. I thought Calvin went out and gave us good minutes. He went out and played hard. I thought Boo Boo gave us good minutes. I thought our bench uh, was was very active tonight. And you know Jordan really has grown. I mean he came into this thing with a lot of body fat. And he's worked his tail off in the weight room, and uh, you know gets after it every day uh, on the practice floor. He's usually practiced about 45 minutes before, getting a good hard workout and uh, getting in extra lifting sessions with uh, with Coach Moser. So he's you know he's really grown, and you know the kid with his body. You know we're going to need him uh, to go out and play major minutes for us once the Big 12 starts. You're going to need Jamie to cut out the kind of. Too. Yeah, and you know, I told him you got to be smarter in that one. You know, got to let the kid go when he's uh, when he came in and the, to get his fourth. You know, with about 11 minutes left. Um, you know, I I thought it was gonna be a big big game for Jamie. You know, he went out and hit his first one. Um, you know, had a couple turnarounds in the post, and you know, just foul troubles really limited him today. The so Jake was was making both free throws. Yeah, we wanted to make both, and then we were gonna try to get uh, you know we had Boo Boo at the scores table to get him in to uh, you know to set up the press. And try to get either a quick steal or you know hope they miss one. You know, and then I, I, I felt you know four and a half seconds was enough to come down and get a quality mm-hmm. shot uh, at the end. How tough is it for you guys to press? I mean, you haven't done it a whole lot. Yeah, we're, we're not uh, not a big pressing team. Um, you know, but when they threw it in there, yeah. you know Gutierrez dribbled out of it. Um, you know, we had a, had a foul, and we were going to try to get that quick trap, but we just couldn't deny him the ball. Uh, Melvin almost got a, a fingertip on it, but you know they, they did a good job executing and got. Ball in the right player's hands. Once you get a little depth, that'll be your. You'll... No question. Yeah, we just don't have the depth right now to be able to, to press as much as we'd like to. Coach, what do you think the team has learned about themselves this week? Well, you know, I, I think Jake said it best. You know, we, we got to learn to go out and play with urgency for 40 minutes. You know, it's not a 35 minute game. If you, if you play that way against teams like this, you're going to come up on the short end. Uh, you got to find a way to battle uh, consistently for the entire game. You know, they're a big, strong, physical team, and, you know, we took them out of some things uh, they wanted to do. But, you know, you gotta you got to find a way to play all 40 minutes. Melvin going through some growing pains a little bit these last couple of games? Dude. Well, you know, I think he's, you know, the one thing he's done is really set the bar high with the way he came out of the gates. Um, you know, he, uh, still, he did some good. He had nine rebounds and nine, you know, four offensive, and that's something we talked to him about. Uh, hit a big three late, and, uh, you know, just it, it was one of those, for him, Going against those bigger, stronger, more physical players, 
you know, this is the first time he's, uh, you know, he's seeing guys like that, that he's ever played against. And, you know, I remember as a freshman, you know, the first time you really get in and play those physical tough games, you know, that's where you learn. Um, you know, you don't learn them in the exhibition game. You don't learn them against, uh, you know, some of those teams that have a, a similar sized post player. You know, now he's learning it against men, grown men. You know, he's, he's learning against elder classmen that, that are bigger than him. Um, but, you know, I listen, he's, he's going to be a heck of a ball player. He's got a very bright future. Uh, you know, I couldn't be happier with the way that he started out the season. Last question. Yeah, Fred, with DeMarcus, is this an indefinite thing with him? Is it a game-by-game? Game? And what's he going to have to do in order to come back? Yeah, it's, it's a game-by-game game thing. You know, we're going to sit down and talk tomorrow and, uh, you know, try to, uh, try to get things worked out. What does he have to do in order to be back here? Um, yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll meet tomorrow and talk about it. All right, Coach, thanks. Thank you.